So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And Apple. Oh, I'll start with the Apple. In that case, I skip breakfast. No, like, this could be an Apple original film and theatrical release. Oh, hell yeah, I love streaming services. They mean I don't need to go to the movies and mingle with the poor. That's fantastic, sir. So the movie's gonna start and we're gonna have this super spy Argyle doing crazy spy stuff, right? And I figure we get Henry Cavill to play him. He's from the Black Adam post credit scene. He sure is. Amazing. These trailers are gonna be nuts. People love Henry Cavill. Uh, well, see, with this concept, he'd technically only be in it for a couple of minutes total. Oh, even better. What? Well, that'll probably cost us a lot less, and we could still shove him front and center of the marketing. Who else is popular? Let's throw Dua Lipa in there. Dua Lipa, the singer? And John Cena, maybe? People like John Cena? Sure, yeah, okay. Maybe a may, maybe a cat? Put a cat in there. Okay, it won't really have anything to do with the story. Put a cute little cat front and center, shove these trailers down people's throats till they're sick of them. All right. Shoving things down people's throats till they're sick is tight. <laughs> Don't tell HR I said that one. So what happens in this movie? Yeah, all right. So this Argyle guy is actually a character written in these books by the main character, Ellie Conway. Right. And actually, just going back to marketing for a second, I was thinking we'd do a whole who is the real Agent Argyle thing. Okay, okay. So anyway, at a book reading, some fan is like, hey, do you think you're maybe a spy? How do you come up with all these ideas? And she's like, well, as you know, since my accident where I bunked my head. Oh, so she's Agent Argyle. <laughs> what? No. Did you pause like that? Because that's obviously the twist. No. Okay. So anyway, one day she's on a train and a real spy, Aiden, shows up and he's like, Hey, I'm a real spy and you gotta come with me. Very exciting. And so then there's gonna be a big fight scene and Ellie's gonna constantly imagine Aiden switching back and forth with Henry Cavill. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You see what I'm doing? I do, yeah. That does sound like it'll be fun for one scene. Yeah, well what about for a full movie? Well, now that you mention it, maybe that won't get old and distracting right away. Maybe. So this guy tells Ellie Ellie that her spy novels have actually been predicting real-world spy stuff involving this evil organization, The Division. Uh-oh, what's their deal? Evil stuff, presumably. Yuck! And so there's this MacGuffin, right? Yeah, don't mind if I do, I skipped breakfast. No, it's not a muffin, it's a very important thingy they have to get, and Aiden's like, you gotta write the next chapter of the book so we can find out where this thing is, this master key. And why is this thing important? Because it's got secrets or something. Whoa! But then Ellie overhears Aiden saying he wants to shoot her in the head, so she runs to see her parents. Oh, so Aiden's a bad guy. No, he was just saying that. He's actually a good guy. He's the best guy. All right. But then we find out that the people pretending to be Ellie's parents are actually operatives from the division. Oh, twisty. Oh, yeah. I love twists, sir. That's why I have one every 10 minutes in this thing. Oh, heck yeah. Let's give people some twisty whiplash. Twist lash. Yep. So then Aiden comes to save Ellie and they flee to France. Ah, so this is like a globe trotty spy movie. You know it, sir. Very exciting. Is it cool if we do all that on a barely convincing green screen? Well, Great. Okay, so anyway, they go see this guy, Alfred, and he tells Ellie that she's been putting her repressed memories into her novels, and she's actually Agent Argyle. Oh, oh, you got me. I did, didn't I? Not really, no. All right, so she finds out she used to be partners with Aiden, but then the Division brainwashed her. And just let her publish their secrets in novels? For five years, yeah. So then Ellie and Aiden go get the master key, which is the important thingy. Oh, yeah, they gotta get that important thingy. They do, but then they get kidnapped. Oh, no. So then her fake dad is gonna reveal that she was one of the Division Vision's most important assets. Is this a twist? Yes, because 10 minutes have passed. Whoa. So then she shoots Aiden through the heart. Oh my god. Yeah, but no, it's okay. She shoots him through a little section in the heart where it's totally okay when that happens. <clears throat> I don't know, that's what I wrote here. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> So then Ellie reveals she sent the master key to that Alfred guy and the Division's like, what, you betrayed us? What a twist, it's been 10 minutes. She twisted them. She did, so then there's gonna be a big colorful shootout where you can almost see what's happening. Whoa. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice because Aiden and Ellie are in love, so we're gonna play their song. Oh, we should use this unreleased Beatles song that's coming out in 2023. Well, see, this would have been their song like over five years ago, so we can't really use a song that hasn't even come out yet. Yeah, you know what, you're right, that would be pretty. Pretty cool. That's not what I said. Pretty cool indeed. All right, you're not listening to me. So then what happens? Oh, well, then they're going to be surrounded by bad guys in a room where the floor's covered in oil so nobody can shoot guns or everything will explode. Oh, man, going to be tough to get out of that situation. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Ellie puts knives on her boots and uses that to skate around on the oil. That's not how skates work or how oil works. Hey, shut up. So then she stabs and shoots all the bad guys. What about the no shooting thing you literally just said? Hey, shut up again. 
but then they're gonna be in real trouble because Ellie's fake mom is gonna winter soldier her. What do you mean? She uses this brainwash activation thing to turn Ellie on Aiden. She can't do anything. Why didn't they just do that to her in the first place then? I don't know, but then another good agent that we thought was dead shows up and saves the day. Oh, she wasn't dead? No, it turns out she had been shot through the heart, but just the good part where it doesn't hurt. Yeah, sure. So then all the bad guys are dead and we're gonna have another book reading for the new novel, but Henry Cavill is in the audience. Wait, what does that mean? Unclear. And then in a post credit scene, we're gonna reveal that this whole thing was taking place in the Kingsman universe? Sure, that may as well happen. Yeah, so make sure not to cast any actors from the Kingsman movie, so that would be super confusing. I'm gonna do what I want. That's fair, so what do you think? I mean, I think if I throw $200 million at this thing and shove the marketing down people's throats, we can't lose, baby! Hi everybody, Ryan George here. I hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. Just a quick moment of relaxation and meditation before you move on to your next video. So take a deep breath in. And breathe out.